Hey, I'm Sean Martin, president and founder of Donix Snowboards. I'm on the chairlift with John Gibson, who gave me a really cool tip last year um, when I complained about a trail being too narrow and I couldn't make the turn. So I'm gonna let him convey that tip to you guys and then we'll watch him do it. Okay. <laughs> Well, can I can I use the same words I did last time, or maybe fill them? Well, the they're they're a little inappropriate, but okay. maybe we'll bleep them out. It works. It, this is a tip that works better for guys, or at least it makes sense. But it's really not about just the tip; it's uh, about the hips and what you're doing with them. Yeah, the, the point I made was to steer with your blank. So okay, <laughs> and what I'm saying is, you know, your your hips are supposed to be aligned with your toes, and when you're in your heel side, probably a little bit of leading leading the turn. And then on toe side again, leading the turn the other way. And if it's not, if instead when you're like completing your heel side or even just in the middle of your heel side, your your you know what is on the wrong side of that center line, you're probably gonna lose a tail or something. You're not really tucked in and, and pushing it out the way you should. It, it should actually feel a bit like you're counter steering out. That, okay, here's the center line of your body and your hips. It sh you should be putting the board out there while you're doing that heel side and out there on the other one, actually pushing your legs out there and, and kind of if you're doing this while you're heel side, it's just not going to work for you. So it'll, you'll probably lose a tail or something at the end of the turn. Right. But if you can stay in the turn, and as long as you're still trying to turn on heel side, make sure you're still tucked in and your hips are ahead of that board. Right. It's only when you want to complete the turn and switch over that you let yourself swing back the other way.